Hey guys, I'm going to show you a little review on my broken DS Lite. And this is some shit, because look at that. See all that cracked off there? It's broken, and then look right here. That's broken, so the hinge is broken, I can't leave it up. And you know how some lazy people or stupid people would like to play backwards? They do this. And it just automatically goes down like that. They can't play backwards, but I don't do that. But still, if you like that funny like that or something, that's not a good idea thing. And look at my touch screen. It still works fine, and the bottom screen's fine, and the top screen only when there are some problems, but I'll show you. And my bottom screen's dirty. And as you see, there's a light scratch right there. I don't know if you can see that. I'll try to get the camera to focus in. There you go. You can kind of see better. Um, and if I also, I'm going to actually turn this on. And look at that. Just, what shit is that? See, it's a Nintendo DS in red, and that kind of brights out my eyes. I mean, it's really annoying when those problems happen. And it, you just, like, after, like, three months ago, it would do this. Like, when I, when it shows Nintendo DS, you know, it's like, bum, bum, bum. It's like this, beam, beam, beam. It was really annoying, and it was for about a month, then the problem was gone. I didn't even fix it. It's just, you know, the problem's better, but... This is what I hate too. If I actually do this, sometimes this happens. See, I see how that happens. You see that like blurry thing starts to get blurry. You might see some lines. That is bad because my screen's already damaged up. But there's no blank marks, thank God. Now I already have a 3DS and a DS XL, and the hinge is not broken, even though it's fallen like already three times. But I keep it in good condition, and you can see that little golden piece. That means this hinge is going to fall off like that. It's going to break apart, which I hate. And this part is probably going to do that soon, too. So I'm afraid that the whole screen will pop off. Like, that will be right there, and this will be right here. And, yeah, but that problem's not going to happen with this. But I'm just mad about that, and I don't like that. And, yeah, when I go to a Pokemon game... Sometimes when I'm going, like when I'm playing, the screen's not automatically red, but a little bit red. Which, it comes up red a little bit, but it, like right here, but I can still see the things. And it, even when it's right here, I can see still things over here. But the R button, sucks the R button, does not work, and it's annoying. Now I can't play games like I can't drift on Mario Kart or whatever DS games I've had that you can drift. But I already have a DS XL. And I have a 3DS already, like I said. But it's smooth, and look what I've written down here. You can't really see that. But I've written down some letters. Well, that's, it was like crazy, but you can actually write on this. It's just like a chalkboard. See that smooth feel? And, yeah. And the paint job's a little messed up. I'm going to turn off the DS light. Turn off the freaking thing. Okay, this is shit, because look at that. It's a fucking... It's a really big, fat fucking... Um, damaged DS, and look at the, the fucking paint job's messed up, you can't really see that, but you might see that scratch up, and that is so, that is just, this is just a fucking retard, look at this 3DS, I mean, this DS light, so, sorry, and look at that fucking crack right there, you might not see it can't blend in really well. I'm trying to get the camera on focus. And look at that. Hold on a second. Yeah, yeah you can kind of see it from here. That is some shit here. That's some shit here. And, yeah. There's a light scratch on the back here. And there's shit and it looks golden. So, that's all I have to show you right now for the DS light. It's broken, so, yeah. Stay tuned for more videos. Bye, guys.